I'm Bob, and this is my hetero life mate, Silent J. And this is the Oddity Critics, where I'm tired of the pain in the ass. And I guess if you're tired of the pain in the ass, that makes you feel the Punisher Collins. Exactly. Now, why the did I make that? says it all. Why did I make that reference at the beginning, Phil? Well, I don't really want to tell him this yet, just, just in case. Oh. Oh, the, the review we were doing. Okay, I can't wait. I thought you were talking about something for the future. But uh, we're doing Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. Woo! -woo. Yeah. Man, I'm yeah, we, excited we, for this. We movie. just got back from it. We almost died coming back. A of, few times. Yeah. That one, there was a car that was brake checking a guy, and the guy that he brake checking was in front of me. With a trailer. And he had a trailer with no lights on. Yeah, so we almost didn't get get here to it's review like this and a bunch of people back home. road and all that stuff but literally the second we got home we sat our shit down and we came and recorded yep but let's get <coughs> this movie yeah sorry <laughs> jeez <coughs> snookums snookums snoochie boochie yeah anyways Let's say, I had high expectations for this movie. I did too. Especially how much uh, Kevin Smith was hyping it up and, and stuff. But, I do gotta say, I, I felt like he brought it this time. Like, I felt like cause he, he, he said he did like everything that he's learned from filmmaking, he put it this. And you can see, you know, from the direction and all that and the story, you can definitely tell that. He's been thinking about this for a while. Right. I mean, 18 yeah. years. Yeah. Really quick, I just noticed that one of the lights are out. Just so these people can see our beautiful face. Come on, Phil. But can't even. I also want to, don't forget, check out our, our, our uh, shirts, the Oddity Critics. But also check out uh, our, our videos. And I was like, you are, you're watching it right Whoa, now. we just got bright as shit in here. Yeah. God dang. You're welcome, everybody. I know you want to see our beautiful mugs. Phil. You know, it was so dark in here, I forgot we switched places. Oh, man. What the fuck? What? Okay, it looks like I'm pointing right here, but really, where he's well, sitting is where I'm sitting. turns out, we've had it reversed the whole time. But now it's corrected, so get used to it. Backwards man, backwards man, I bet you can't run as fast as I can. Anyway, as in backwards. so what is Jay and Silent Bob reboot about? Okay, so... Let me tell you, it was fucked up. It was. It was. Pretty so, so pretty much this is a, well, let me say, a reboot movie making fun of reboot movies. And a remake. And a sequel. But let me just say, Justin, Justin Long, I'm a big fan of. And him, I feel like he was doing like the uh, parody of his character in Zack and Mary Make a Porno. Not 100%. I don't want to. I got to look into it first. Mm -hmm. But the, his voice was the same. But... Just, uh, Justin Long playing two, the uh, defendant lawyer in the, um, <laughs> yeah. uh, what was the other uh, defendant? And, it was uh, defendant and prosecutor. Yeah. But have him sign it, and then he was like, I can't believe that fucking worked. <laughs> <laughs> right. Then he, when he, he's like, he got him, he got him off through. And then he like walked yeah. around he, and sat down. He goes, and now for the second case, Jane Silent Bob versus Hollywood. <laughs> then he's just like, mm, back, and then but he sits down in the, uh, prosecutor table. But pretty much what happens... This is my this is my second case today, and I already need to have a fucking drink. <laughs> <laughs> but pretty much what happens is uh, they find out a movie is being made about them. Yeah, again. Again. And, you know, them... Gotta learn, go to Hollywood. They learn, again. They learn about Chronic Con, which is where yeah. this mo a special scene for this movie is being made. And, of course, they're like, we've got to stop this Yeah, movie. because he said the pivotal moment... And if the scene wasn't filmed, then the movie can't be made. And it was right. Kevin Smith making fun of himself about, about that. He goes, man, look at this fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, he looks nothing like him. He goes, I used to have to call him... Uh, Munchbox, but now I call um, him Snack Pack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. So they go on this road trip. Uh, then well, the plane, well, plane was hilarious. <laughs> When, when they when they were trying to board, and they were like, "You're in a cult called the Clit." He goes, "Man, the Clit doesn't exist." He goes, "Yeah, that's what every guy that I've been with said." 
<laughs> I'm like, oh my god! Like, and get, just the people around us, like all the jokes and all that. It was right. just like everybody, was, everybody was there enjoying it. Right? Yeah, and, 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 and the funny thing is, I felt like we went to a snooty movie theater. Like it was, it was pretty fancy. Not as fancy as some some of these, but for our area, it was pretty fancy. And the people that was there was like, I, I don't know. I felt out of place, but at the same time, it, I was with the group. By people, kind right, of thing. right. You know, it was not the Enjoyed like. Enjoyed my humor. I will let me tell let me tell you this one funny story really fast. We went to go get something to eat before uh, we went to go see the movie, and we we're trying to get something fast. And it was McDonald's, and this lady looks like she's worth some money and all that. Sees both of us, and she has two kids, and she looks at both of us, and there's this look on our face like. Ugh. We're literally wearing exactly what we are now. Yeah. And she looked at us and was like, ugh, and pretty much. And she's like, come over here and tell her, tell her kids and try to get her away from us. I'm like, what the fuck? But once we sat down in the theater and the people who were sitting down, we just knew, like. This is going to be good. Yeah. This is going to be good. Then, of course, you know, he talked, uh, Jay Henry I did, moves, Muse talked at the beginning. I do like how, how they had that at the beginning where they pretty much saying thank you to everybody and, um. Uh, which that was I don't cool. think anybody else will see unless they went. Yeah, and that I mean that's what he said. Unless they go to the seventeenth one, and right. they'll see that. Uh, or probably the road show. But the yeah, they probably just. See well, it, it probably won't be the road show because uh, road they're, they're, they'll be saying they can defend them again unless they take that part out. I don't. But anyways, let's get get back to this. Well. They ended, up, they ended up getting an Uber Pretty or, or, uh, or ride me. Yeah, ride me. We were like, you want me to ride you now? And like that was that was. But pretty much, and then they get the pretty much something happens with the Uber. Obviously, and they they end up in Chicago where he meets up with Justice. Justice. And, and Boo Boo Kitty, fuck. You remember? And finds out he has a daughter, of which course, is played by trailer. Kevin Smith's daughter. Yeah, which is funny. And that was pretty fucked up. Yeah. You know? Especially how he first met her. Mm-hmm. And like fucking not, you're like, slave. <laughs> they woke up tied up. And pretty much she convinced him to go. Well, I thought it was funny. Okay, I, if, I, if I was Jay, and I found out the girl that I loved is married to a woman, I wouldn't be offended. Because I'm like, well, that means she hasn't been with any other guy and has had no kid. So that means even though she went to a Somebody else technically, she did it. Not like saying she did it, right. but she could never be with another guy. So I would be happy if, if I was Jay, to be honest. Right. But yeah, this all all this crazy shit starts happening when they end up hooking up with Jay's daughter um, on this road trip right. to get to the Chronicon. And, and then action. Yeah, I, I also love how they had blueprints of shit. And, then, and throughout this whole movie, there's constant references. Yeah, like... I would say, honestly, uh, at least watch one or two of their movies before watching Oh, yeah, this movie. well, I would say, especially his 90 movies, because they make or fun... Or Strike Back, they reference that quite a bit. Yeah, uh, but they also, you know, Chase and Amy yeah, and Chase, all that. They pretty much reference everything, Yeah. being honest. Um, but even his Tusk movie, when he turned Justin, Justin Long into a walrus... Oh yeah, he did. Yeah. Hey, he reference that. But I mean, I I, I thoroughly enjoyed like I, all the I cameos and the oh. And after the credits, I yeah. To talk well, about, oh, really? Because you brought up cameos. Really quick before you get to that, the whole movie um, thing, and it was like vegan, and then he did the eggplant. He goes, "This motherfucker eggplanted me." <laughs> She goes, I don't need to see in the back. And it was Kevin Smith's wife, which was hilarious. And they ended up fucking in the bathroom. Pretty much. Yeah. And then he walks out like, are, the guy, and the guy's like... Yeah. But uh, that girl's like, do you want to get have a hamburger for lunch? She goes, no, I had vegan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which I thought was... I also thought it was funny when they did the drive through and they were like, we're all vegan. And they're like... Fuck, uh, not something without meat. No, then it was like, uh, yeah, it was like one. Five like, five milks or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and they're like, no, you know, no animals. And yeah. he's like, fuck, something without meat. And he's like, yeah. Shut up, Bob. He never even paid for that food. Because they <laughs> did stuff. Them, yeah. That's funny. But let's get to the rating of this movie. Do you want to go first or me go first? 
Well, really quick. Actually, Bill, I, I want to talk about the stand. Well, you also said you were going to talk about the cam, uh, cameras at the end. But I thought, you know, honestly, when uh, they were doing, like, Blunt Man v. Chronic uh, mm-hmm. part, that little clip that he showed, I was like, man, this looks pretty interesting. That's what I was saying. I was like, I was like hold on, I just forgot that that's a different movie. Yeah. I'm interested in that. When is that coming out? Yeah. So, Kevin Smith, if you end up seeing this, please maybe. give us a Blunt Man and Chronic. Please. I mean, I mean, I know you give us comic books and all that, but I, I think that it would be hilarious for, I him think to, it'd be nice. for him to do a superhero movie. But don't have the budget of Marvel. I love that they made up with Marvel jokes. Right. But I like the, the the Iron Man was like, oh, oh yeah, getting sued. yeah. <laughs> man, Kevin Smith played himself was was hilarious. It was. And he did pretty good. Yeah. Oh man, I, I got some time. Time for me to smoke this joint. <laughs> but uh, what was you gonna talk about the end credits? Okay, at the end credits, I really enjoyed Stanley. Yeah, that that was Stanley. Very touching, and Kevin Smith, great job on that. You, uh, I know you talked about. Him being a friend and all that, and I think you honored him pretty good. And uh, I just like his lines. He's like, he's like, oh, he doesn't talk, and he's like, oh, give, give me Jay, give me Jay. <laughs> that was good. But yeah, uh, I, I will say also this movie. I mean, Kevin Smith talked about maybe you might shed a tear, and I'm not saying that you couldn't depending on who you are. But I mean, there definitely was some sad parts that yeah, I wasn't was expecting. A, if I, w- I would say. If I almost should it like, you know, a small tear. So I feel like, you know, some people will... Might yeah, they did a good job with both of them. Especially, like, uh, in the van when he was talking about, I knew your dad and you're better off with him. And Jason Mewes start tearing up. And I'm like... A few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, man, he he's definitely coming along as an actor from seeing Clerks, the first one. And then seeing this, he... Jason Mewes, great job. And, um... The whole cast, I think. I think. Did yeah. Great. I think it was a great. great yeah. Movie. So, rating. So, do you want to do the rating or one, the one thing a piece that karaoke. we karaoke? Well, karaoke, but the one thing we didn't like a piece. This did that. So the only thing I had a problem with, and if you're at this point and you don't want to hear how how it ends, skip ahead forty five seconds. You got me better hope. Only thing I hated when um, Jay and his daughter finally got to hang out and when she knew who he was, I felt like I, I was hoping that Justice would have dropped her off and and maybe said like a uh, quirky remark like, don't knock out your father again or yeah, whatever. You know, just this, this so she knew that she, uh, that um, Blue and Falcon knew that Jay was a father now and, yeah. and she was happy about it. That's true. But that's the only thing I gotta say that me personally that's the only thing that I wish would have happened but everything else you know. Okay. Now here's the one thing I don't like about this movie. And me and him talked about it briefly. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the movie. I think Oh yeah you do got a good point with this. I think Kevin Smith listen up to this one. Kevin Smith it kind of felt like he did the Eminem where he, you know, the 8 Mile where he talked so much shit about himself that even if it is bad, you know, he already made yeah. all the valid points. Maybe. But, Kevin Smith, you need to look at yourself as a good director and whatnot because this movie was great. Um, the one thing I didn't like is that he shit on himself way too much. Yeah. You know, he, it seemed like he almost gave himself no credit. For yeah. This, and, and he definitely deserves it. I mean, but I do like that he, he's... He humbles himself. Right. Like he, he knows I, like he hasn't had the best movies, but he he needs to realize that he has even the like when he was like Tusk or um, Chasing Amy when Ben Affleck was I wasn't a fan, right. you know. Uh, Mall Rats because he talks about that movie being a bomb, but now now it's a classic. Like all these movies of his, I feel like it, it's classic. Even the ones that people don't really know, but like Red State, I really love that movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, Kevin Smith should have gave himself more credit, you know. But at the same time, the the whole thing was they they hate that Kevin Smith's directing the Blunt Man V Chronic, and so I understand right. why they were shitting, he was shitting on himself because right. you got to make it believable that man, this is like the worst director to do this reboot right. for. Mm-hmm. But besides that, let's get into some karaoke. Yeah. 
Let's get into it. Before so, we do the rating. So, I'm going to do from Jane Silent Bob's Trade back at the beginning where the guy walks up and says, let me get a nickel or a dime bag. Or what was it? I think it was a nickel. Nickel bag, or, yeah. No, nickel bag. Nickel bag. I don't care. Nickel or dime. I can't remember right. 15 bucks. Little man, put that shit in my hand. If that money doesn't show, then you owe me, owe me, oh. Now, Jungle Love, yeah. Oh, we, oh, we, oh. And I think I want to know you, know you. Yeah, what? I know that. Mm. Trust me. Now, mine is actually a song from the movie that we saw today. And if y'all didn't know, Jay and Sutton Bob Straight Back is my favorite movie ever. Oh, before I forget. Now it's my turn. I gotta warn these people. Yeah, you definitely do. Now, this one is actually from the movie, and it's when Jay sees justice on the TV. How many people want to kick some man? No. It's, uh. By REO Speedwagon, old band, older band, keep on loving you. Okay, Phil. <laughs> you should have seen by the look in my eyes, baby. There was something missing. Dun, 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 dun. You should have known by the tone of my voice, maybe. But you didn't listen. You played dead, but you never bled. Instead, you laid still in the grass, all coiled up and hissing. And though I know about those men, still I don't remember. Cause it was just us, baby, way before then. And we're still together. And I meant. Every word that I said When I said that I loved you I meant that I loved you forever And I'm gonna keep on loving you Cause it's the only thing I want to do I don't wanna sleep I just wanna keep on loving you Yeah. And there's how they clap. Fuck you, the motherfucker. Alright. Whoa! That was bam. What else we got? Uh, excuse me. God dang. Wow! Wait, is that beef turkey? No, that's chicken. Okay. Chicken turkey. Anyway, so. Rating this movie. Can I go first? Yeah, you go first. So, this movie was great. It's actually, you know, like you said, it built up a lot of hype, a lot of expectations, and I felt like it demolished. I'm going to give this movie a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. I can see it. And I also like that it wasn't super long, so it didn't feel like it dragged on, like, you know. So, with you saying 9... I'm gonna give it a 9.25. Wow! That's an 18.25 out of 20. Yeah. 1.75 away from if, the if, if you story. like, I wouldn't say stupid humor, because I mean it was stupid at some point, but like, hu- weed humor, this, this, if you just want to laugh, if you've seen his movies, if you also want to see a little, like, something that you wouldn't feel like. You would ever feel with something like this movie? A movie that you just want to quickly throw in and watch, yeah. you know? Even at the end when he, he was talking to his daughter and it was like, you want to get yourself a best friend who's uh, always has you back even when they're beside you. And even and, even Son of Bob started to hear Yeah, and that, I was just like, wow. You know I mean, that, 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 that's that, also kind of like a real life situation. Yeah. Because you know, they know they're known each other forever, pretty much. Mm-hmm. At least 18 years. Well, Five years. No, twenty. Least. Yeah, I, I think we've known at least since he was fourteen because J, uh, Jay was based off of him when he was fourteen. Huh. So he's known him for a lot longer than that. Thanks. So I just love how Kevin Smith just um, <laughs> this is this true to his friends, and it, and it gives me hope because not not to say anything, but 
being wanting to be a director, he like he gives me hope not because also the movies that he makes, but the limited budget that he had and people believed in him and you know was willing to take a risk. You know, also what I also realized who wasn't in the movie, oh. Randall. Randall from Clerks, from Clerks too. The uh, he was pretty much like Jay to um, Dante. Oh, okay. Um, well, that that was surprising to me. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Oh, I didn't tell you about this, but I was thinking about this. This is this is this thing on the top of my head. So I'm gonna do at least for me. Now, if you want to do it later, that's cool. But I'm going to give somebody an option to choose my song. Not in the next video, because that's in a couple days. But next week. And all you have to do is take a screenshot of um, this video, or any of our videos, or a profile. Why don't you just post in the comments? Well, no. What I'm saying is, then go on your, your Instagram share the picture and tag us at the oddity critics and you would be entered to win to choose my song you know what the second person i'll do this song see that two people get to choose the song or two random people will be able to choose the song buddy what like i said all you have to do is show that you subscribed uh tag us put posts on your instagram and uh tag us at the oddity critics and you'll be entered to win, and then we'll or write you. Anywhere. Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, Instagram, Twitter. Facebook. Um, Twitter. If you know us personally, you know, show us and send it, and then we'll we'll put all the names in a hat and pick out names, and then we'll then we'll write you, and you you just tell us what song. And in the future, uh, just to also keep in mind that we're also we'll be doing that. For an independent movie, where uh, the audience gets to choose what independent movie we watch or review, right. but you would have to do the same thing. So just keep tuned for that. But next week, like I said, you uh, you get to choose our song, and we'll write you and uh, take it from there. Yep. Just make sure uh, it's in English, and remember, it's all the way that we sing it. So if we butcher it for you, it's not on us. You chose the song. That's true. Anyways, I think that's that wraps up this Jay and Silent Bob sure reboot review. Does. So have a good one. Stay classy.